Like a lot of people, I discovered Outlander on accident, and I've been hooked ever since I've seen it, right? And then the fans tried to warn me about this thing called Droughtlander. I'm like, I'm Josh Prey. I'm a man. I got a beard that need to shave. I ain't gonna go through no Droughtlander. Then Droughtlander happened. I ran through the show because I binge watched it. I ran through the show too fast, and then I had to wait. And then they announced season six, and I was like, yes! Now I'm in my car parked with a seatbelt on with no keys in my car. I'm not going nowhere because season six, episode one has game. Excuse me. Why I release this. <laughs> Stars, Outlander, that is how you write a show. That is how you bring us back. That is how you suck us in. And that is how you give true fans what they want. Let me start off by saying, Jamie, I understand why he's the king of men. I understand why it's more than a nickname. When they had that flashback scene in the beginning of the episode, and that man was about to get beat, and Jamie took off his shirt. Now, I like women. I love women. But when he took off his shirt, he was, I was like, damn, look at this back. That man got a back of the guards. And then he took the whip for him, and all he could think about was, I want to think about my woman the way he thinks about Claire. Claire is his peace. She is his saint. Sanctuary. She takes his pain away. Whenever he is thinking about this beautiful woman, nothing else matters. Every time I think about somebody from my past, I cry and weep more. I just... I hate you. I hate you. I hate... But nah, Jamie just... Then... Jamie may have met his match in Tom. Something about Tom seems more dangerous. Is he as big as Jamie? No. Is he going to put his hands on Jamie? No. But Tom got a, a faith that nobody's above God. And if you don't got God above everything or at the forefront of everything, Tom don't like that. Tom will drop a dime on him. Tom will what we would call a snitch, a player hater in 2022. Tom, the character, not the real person, but the person playing Tom, you are playing his damn role well because the hate in your eyes cannot be disguised. Let's get to Claire. Now, everybody think I feel like I be hard on Claire. I love Claire. I'm just so passionate about the story sometimes that I got to remember this is just fiction. But Claire taking that ether to knock herself out because I I said it. Claire is a gangster. For her to be able to go through what she went through and be traumatized and then shake that off and go be with Jamie like she's a gangster. But this episode, this season is showing Claire may be a little bit more dependent on things that we don't know about. So her knocking herself out, I hope that don't be the end of her demise, damn it. I hope the book right. I hope you ain't setting us up for such a week. I know. And to Outlander Stars, brief moment. Y'all might as well go ahead and make y'all an OnlyFans account for Jamie and Claire love scene because I guarantee you right now there's a million people out there that'll pay that six ninety nine a month just for y'all to put their love scenes on OnlyFans.com. And I know it ain't real, but damn it, it feel real to me. And everybody need a friend and don't need a friend like Roger. Roger is too damn blind to some stuff. He's too damn nice. And he say, yeah, way too easy. And he sets up situations that put people in trouble, man. Outlander look good. Episode one... It was long. I was into it. Now I'm ready to know where it's going to go because I haven't read the books. I'm one of the people that don't depend on the books for the source material. I'm just hypnotized by the story. I need to know. Wait, back to it. Jamie and Claire really made love. If y'all really, like, they love making this. It's crucial. Like, I wish I made love like that in real life. I don't. Um, they, they, they make love like... My love is like the end. Anyways, episode one, fire. Welcome back. For episode two, I'm going to review it. I'm going to wear my kilt in that one. I'm still wearing my seatbelt. It's a little hot in this car, but damn it, I don't care. I want, and then Jamie whipped that boy. Forgot to tell the damn it, I ain't know Jamie had it in him to whip people, man. He took that. Take off your shirt. Bow. 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 Everybody ain't got a back like you, Jamie. Everybody can't that the boy stole, he got caught, he got called out. Everybody don't got a back like you, Jay. Sam Huhan. Episode one. Welcome back. Who watching episode two with me?